I lost um, between 160 and 170 pounds total. And I went from someone who can't even walk down the block without running out of breath to someone who's training for an Ironman. At my highest weight, I was 348 pounds, and at the age of 23, it was very difficult for me to do normal things. I would sweat tying my shoes. I'd be out of breath just walking down the hallway at school. Weight loss surgery is not for everyone. Um, it won't fix your personal problems. It fixes your stomach, but it doesn't fix your brain. You have to do it for yourself. If you do it for someone to see if that would change their opinion of you, it most likely won't. I wasn't happy. I wasn't healthy. I had high blood pressure. I had joint pain. I, I was not a normal 23-year-old. We got sent to the reproductive endocrinologist, and due to my weight, she thought it was too risky to help me get pregnant. So that was really the turning point where I said I need to lose weight if I want to start a family. I told my mom a few days before I had the surgery because in the past she had been really negative about it, but then when she saw how well Al Roker did, then she was all for it. So I was really happy to have her support. When you first have the gastric bypass surgery, your diet changes dramatically. For the first month when your stomach's healing, they put you on a liquid diet where you have to drink a lot of not very good tasting protein shakes and a lot of water. I lost um, between 160 and 170 pounds total. Life is great. I remember my first real fun experience was I went into a plus size store to try to buy some shoes because I had some really odd wide feet and the lady looks at me and she goes, honey, don't you realize this is a plus size store? So that was really a big deal to me, finally realizing I don't need to be in this store anymore. A lot of the teacher colleagues of mine, they couldn't quite figure out what was different. So they said they liked my hair a lot. And they thought, well, gee, maybe it's, I, I like her new clothes. And my kids were really funny because they kept asking me, they go, Miss Colum, when did you have your baby? <laughs> so they thought, because my stomach was getting smaller, that I had a kid. So I thought that was really amusing because kids will tell you what they think. And they don't mean any harm. They're just funny. My husband um, still thinks the same of me as he did before, except I'm a lot busier. He's actually been the most supportive person I've ever known in my whole life. He supports me through all my activities, and now that I'm going through grad school and training for an Ironman pretty much seven days a week, he's been really patient in me not being there for him as much. But I promised him after my Ironman in November we'd finally start that family we were trying to start three or four or five years back. It's been a total life change for me.